We're in a new chapter now. We're in chapter 5. And this is about adding two-digit numbers. I'm going to talk about how to add tens. This is lesson 5.1. When we add tens, we add the numbers in the tens place. If we have two tens and one ten, when we add them together, we get three tens and there's still zero ones. See? We add the two plus the one and get a three and zero plus zero is zero. See? We just think two plus one is three. Twenty plus ten equals thirty. Now we're going to be using longs and units in this chapter and this is a long it's just a bar that has 10 to it. See? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So when you see this, you know it's a 10. When you see that, you know it's a 1. Okay? So we can find each sum by adding the tens. There's two tens and three tens. Two tens plus three tens. And that's the same thing as 20 plus 30. 10, 20, 10, 20, 30. See? 20 plus 30. And we think 2 plus 3. And 2 plus 3 is 5. 2, 3, 4, 5. 2 tens plus 3 tens would be 5 tens. 20 plus 30 would be 50. We write the 5 and put the 0 for the 1's place. Let's try another one. Now we have 3 tens plus 4 tens. We think 3 plus 4. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That's 7 tens. That's 30 plus 40. That's 70. See? The 7 with the 0, just like that's a 3 with a 0, and that's a 4 with a 0 for 30 and 40. Let's try another one. Now we have 5 tens plus 2 tens. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 plus 1, 2. We've got 5... We count on six, seven. That's seven tens. Just like the three plus four, isn't it? It's just another way to make a seven. Fifty plus twenty equals seventy. We have a seven in the tens place. Let's see if we can do it without the counters. We have six tens plus two tens. Six plus two is six, seven, eight. That would be eight tens. Sixty plus twenty, we add the six plus the two, which is an eight, and we have a zero in the ones place. Sixty plus twenty equals eighty. Let's try it again. Four tens plus four tens. We think four plus four. Four plus four is four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight tens. Forty plus forty, we think four plus four, which is eight. And we add the zero for the ones place so that the eight is in the tens place. Now we have seven tens plus one ten. Seven plus one. Seven plus one is eight, so we have eight tens again. Seventy plus ten is seven plus one with a zero, isn't it? That's eight for the tens place and zero for the ones place. Let's try one last one. 
six tens plus three tens. Think six plus three. Six, seven, eight, nine. That's nine tens. Did you see what I did when I added the three? Because there's three little bumps on a three, I count those to add a three. Six, seven, eight, nine. See? That way I don't have to use my fingers when I add a three. Isn't that tricky? Sixty plus thirty, we think six plus three, that's six, seven, eight, nine in the tens place and zero in the ones place. That means we have nine tens and zero ones. See? Let's try a word problem. So here's some problem solving. A big cookie. See, we have a big chocolate chip cookie. A big cookie costs 55 cents. And Emma has four dimes. Tala has two dimes. If they put their money together, do they have enough to buy the cookie? And maybe they can share it, right? So we think, well, the cookie costs 55 cents. So let's circle that because that's important, all right? Emma has four dimes. That's important. Tala has two dimes. That's important. One dime is 10 cents. So four dimes is 40 cents, right? If she has four tens, then she's got 40. And Tala has two dimes, and two dimes is 20 cents because it's two tens, see? We add them together, 40 cents plus 20 cents. There's no zero, there's no one, so we put a zero there. We add the tens, four plus two, four, five, six. We've got 60 cents. Now the cookie costs 55 cents. So do they have enough money? Yeah, they do. In fact, they have extra, don't they? So how much change would they get if they gave the cookie person the 60 cents? They gave them 60 cents, so we start from the price, 55, and we count up to the amount of money they gave them, right? Remember from last chapter? 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. They would get five cents back, five cents change. Okay? So we're going to be talking about adding two digit numbers in this chapter, and that's adding tens. And remember, you can make your own bars of tens from school paper with ten lines. Just count them and make sure that there's ten there, okay? You could even make little boxes of 10 or little pieces of paper that say 10 on them, okay? All right, I'll see you next video. Bye.